I think the Japanese internment episode is related to deportation history in ways that are both specific and general. Uh, specifically, it's related because actually the internment began with a focus on non-citizens, on Japanese aliens as they were called at the time, and used some of the mechanisms of the immigration system to focus on those people. What's interesting is to see how that migrated to include uh, citizens, Japanese citizens. Many people focus on the internment and focus on the the harshness and the shameful fact that we rounded up citizens based on their race and clearly looked at from the perspective of history that is a shameful fact but it's also true that in many ways the the history of it illustrated some of Jefferson's early concerns about the worry that he had that laws that are first targeted against aliens can then grow and be used against citizens as well. The factor that connected the two categories was race and ethnicity, of course, and when you look at the internment, you notice some interesting things. Um, one thing that historians have pointed out is that one of the original orders uh, implementing the internment defined the people to whom it would apply as uh, both alien and non-alien. They couldn't even use the word citizen to apply to the Japanese anymore. It shows you the, the hysteria and the anti-Japanese feeling that was occurring there. Um, if you look at some of the mechanisms that were used in the internment, you can also see relationships between those and deportation. You can see internment. You can see detention without the possibility of bail. Now, of course, there were big differences. We were at war, uh, as the court has said, looking back on it. But still, I think to understand where the internment came from, why it was done in that way against Japanese people on the West Coast, and not done in the same way against German nationals or Italian nationals, although some of them were certainly rounded up, but not anywhere near in the way that it was done to Japanese citizens, uh, the history of immigration enforcement and deportation enforcement aimed at Asians on the West Coast is a very powerful part of the explanation as to why that happened.